obviously it was a long season ahead, but you had talked about needing to see you guys get punched in the mouth first before you could see how they'd respond. Um, could you just, I guess, talk about how they responded on the road against a team of this caliber? I think it was more of a jab. It's more of a jab, but uh, we uh, we were great. You know, they Boston was tough first half. You know, there's a team that's been been through a lot of battles together. So, you know, I think I mentioned it pregame, but you know, they they have a, a resolve and a, and an understanding. And you know, I think it, they came out and tried to be physical with us. I think we slowed down a little bit, um, and so our offense was. A little shaky in the first half. We, we didn't set ourselves up or create any advantages or knock the first domino down enough. So, um, you know, we adjusted. We turned it over. We we gave up offensive rebounds in the first half. In the second half, we didn't turn it over and we didn't give up as many offensive rebounds. And that was down to just competing, uh, wanting it, and trying to match their physicality. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, kind of touching on those first half struggles, do you point to some of those turnovers as, as growing pains with the, with the new team or, or miscommunication? I'm just curious where you kind of point to some of the, the bigger issues in the first half. Yeah, I think that's right. I think all the above. Um, you know, we're, we're still uh, in such formative days for our team. So sometimes we, we, we slow down. You know, we need to play with a little more pace, a little more burst. Um, you know, like I said, you know, Entering our actions with that pace will maybe knock down the first domino and allow us to create an advantage offensively. So I think our pace will allow us to do that. And then our, our, our skill, talent, and depth will allow us to capitalize. But well, the offense is, is probably behind the defense, um, which is where we'd want to be, frankly. But um, at the same time, we got some work there. And as you see, we got shot makers. So the offense at, time was much at times was much better in the second half. At times, it was just you know, some incredible shot make. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, that uh, in the third quarter, you guys got off to a 31 to 16 run. I believe that's the number. Um, what what did you guys do differently or was there anything that you did differently uh, between the second and third quarters defensively? Or was it just like you said, just being more yeah. locked in? Yeah, Christian, it, it really, it, there was no adjustment. It was just, you know, be more diligent, um, the earlier talk battle you know those things i thought we you know maybe we got a little outplayed in the first half on, on the hustle energy physicality meter and our guys are a proud group and uh you know for such a an early stage it was great that they had that resolve and stuck stuck with it and, and just picked up their intensity and their desire and our guys were hungry and fought and that was uh, beautiful to watch mike vaccaro new york post Steve, uh, can you talk about the uh, like that six minute stretch in the third quarter where Kevin kind of really took over the game and what it, what it means to just have that guy on your team and kind of seeing him in his full in his full bloom of power in those uh, you know six or seven minutes? Yeah, it's 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 uh it's still impressive to watch after all these years. You know, just uh, you know his length, his skill, his his mobility, his athleticism. You know it's an incredible package, and uh, for him to, you know, to have little runs like that is nothing for him in his mind. You know that's that's just. But for 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 you know mere mortals of this game in the NBA, it's it's impossible to think of sometimes. So he had an incredible run there. You look at the first half. I think we played a little slow, a little lack some pace and some burst, and and therefore Kevin didn't get as involved as we'd like. You know, in the second half, uh, we had a little more burst, a little more decisive. Uh, he got more involved, and he also just took over at times. And, and you know, you got to say, I mean, everyone contributed tonight. Uh, Kevin took over for a stretch. Karis took over for a stretch. Kai took over for a stretch. And J.A. was incredible. D.J. had good minutes. You know, you go down the line, everyone, you know, really, really, uh, I thought it contributed tonight. It was a, a deep team win. Kevin O'Connor, the ringer. <clears throat> Hey, Steve. Um, Kyrie has been unbelievable offensively, but his defensive effort has also stood out since preseason, really, both on ball and off ball. He's really locked in, really fighting. Um, what is the importance of a star player setting that tone for the team, especially with a new group? And what are your general thoughts on Kyrie's defensive performance? Well, it was, it was maybe the first thing that, that struck me in, in preseason was, you know, the first practice, you know, just his – 
his talent defensively, you know, you don't think of that, but he's more athletic than you think. He's stronger than you think. He's, you know, he's capable of making some incredible plays defensively. You know, this is a league that's starting to just pick on little guys, but he battles. He's smart. He uses his hands, uses his feet, you know, uses his center mass, whatever it may take to throw the other guy off. So he's very capable uh, defensively. And I have been very impressed with, uh, you know, that side of the ball. And, and as we come together as a team, I think it'll be more cohesive as well. Justin Walters picks 11. Steve, how encouraging and exciting is this for you as a coach to walk with another 20 point victory, but still understanding that this team is in, I'm not going to call it the beta phase, but you mentioned that there are several areas that the team can develop, but you've cruised in your first two victories. Yeah, I mean it's uh it's 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 a it's a privileged position to be in to to get off to a good start early. You know, the team is I just have to say, you know, like they we haven't had a bad practice yet, you know. I know we've only had 10, 12 practices and we may not have many for a while now, just the way the schedule goes. It'll all be film work and and walkthroughs and individual sessions, but um, you know, that competition level, the depth has promoted that competition, has raised the level every day, and they've brought it. So, you know, I think that's put us in a position here where we're able to compete out the gates. But I, I also see a lot of room for improvement on both sides of the ball. So we are we are very formative still, and uh, we got to stick with it because, you know, other teams are going to get better as well. They, they all, even if they're a team that, you know, like Boston's been together, but they're missing – you know, Kemba, um, you look around the league, teams had a really short camp. So um, teams are going to get better. We got to continue to get better so that at the end of the line, you know, we're there and competitive and ready to go against the best teams in the league. Back to Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Yeah, Coach, piggybacking off that point, you know, obviously Boston, no Kemba, and then you look at the Warriors, no Clay, no Draymond. Do you kind of have to take these games with a grain of salt, understand that you're playing teams that aren't at full strength? Well, I think it's more that we just need to stay hungry. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't take it with a grain of salt. I, I think, you know, we, we defended well in both games for the most part. Um, and that's, that's where we're going to judge ourselves every night. Um, you know, obviously, we want to play well offensively. We want, we want to build a, a terrific offense. But, you know, we, we, we're going to judge ourselves in our defense, our connectivity, uh, implementing our principles. And so we're off to a good start in that respect, which is our priority. Um, but we got to stay hungry. You know, this, this means nothing. We're, we're just getting started and we got to continue to have that vision to improve um, throughout the season. Last question for coach Steve Lichtenstein, WFAN. Hi, Steve. Uh, can you just a little bit more about uh, Jared, Allen, Jared Allen's battle level and whether you've had any chance to talk to him after he didn't get the contract extension on Monday? I haven't talked to him about that. You know, um, you know, we're focused on the season. Uh, he's got a bright future. He's going to have a big contract uh, whenever the time is. And um, we're just trying to figure out uh, who we are as a team. So, he, I mean, the guys was unbelievable tonight. Um, you know, he was good in the first half. He was special in the second half. So uh, that's what it's going to take to win, especially as we're forming here, is, is special efforts. And, uh, man, he was good. Defensively protecting the rim, loose balls. Um, rebounding at both ends, you know, he, he was outstanding. So uh, we're proud of him. And, uh, you know, he's continually improving, I think, at this stage of his career.